Hello everybody. So in this video, we are going to do a very important question in which the ratio of sum of n terms of two APs is given. So let's start with it. So if the ratio of the sum of the first n terms of two APs is this, then you have to find the ratio of their ninth terms. So basically, for two APs, the sum of the first n terms is given. Sum of the first n terms of the first AP will be n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d, that is the formula. But we don't know the first term and the common difference of the first AP. So let us assume that the first term and the common difference of the first AP is a1, d1. And the first term and the common difference of the second AP is a2, d2. So sum of the first n terms of the first AP is n by 2 into 2a1 plus n minus 1 into d1 divided by sum of the first n terms of the second AP will be n by 2 into 2a2 plus n minus 1 into d2 and that is given to be equal to 7n plus 1, 7n plus 1 divided by 4n plus 27. Now basically over here we can cancel it out this thing, right? Now we have to find the ratio of their ninth terms. Basically we have to find A91, suppose the ninth term of the first AP and A92, ninth term of the second AP. So nth term of an AP is A plus N minus 1 into D. So ninth term of an AP will be A plus 9 minus 1 into D, that is A plus 8D. So ninth term of the first AP will be a1 plus 8d1 divided by ninth term of the second AP is a2 plus 8d2. So basically we have to find this ratio and we can find this ratio using this relation over here. For that thing, can we take 2 as common in the numerator? So we, have, we will be left with a1 plus n minus 1 upon 2 into d1 divided by, if I take 2 as common in the denominator, a2 plus n minus 1 by 2 into d2, and that is equal to the same thing over here. This can be cancelled out. 2 can be cancelled out. Now basically, if you see this thing and this thing, they are exactly the same. The only difference is, over here you are having n minus 1 by 2, and over here you are having n. So can we not say that n minus 1 by 2 has to be equal to 8? Or if you solve it for n, you'll get n is equal to 17, right? So basically, if I put n is equal to 17 over here, you will get 8d1 and 8d2. And if you are putting n is equal to 17 over here, you have to obviously put n is equal to 17 over here as well, because that then it will be mathematically correct. So the required ratio is 7 into 17 plus 1 divided by 4 into 17 plus 27. So this is the answer. You can just calculate it. Plus 1 divided by. So that is equal to 120 divided by. 24 is to 19. You can write like this 24 is to 19. So you see this is a very important question actually. Obviously the ratio of some of the first n terms can be different as well. But this is a very important and a tricky question on the basis of arithmetic progressions. So that's all we needed to do in this video on the Infinity Learn class 9 and 10 YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.